it's just me playing the game badly so you can see what it looks like. Hello, it's book review time. <laughs> I don't normally review books um, unless I'm in them and I've only been in one. Mostly I get offered books by publishers and whatnot and it's like the art of the Sinclair Spectrum or the art of the Commodore 64 and it's a big glossy book with screenshots of games and I'm like I, I, I don't care about this I'd rather play the game might be a really nice book but I just don't care so I never review those I, I always politely decline but I was offered a book recently by a friend Steve 911 gamer and he has produced the top 50 Game Boy games it is it's softback it's a nice glossy book 399 which I think is really good value it is a uh, I'm not going to show you all the pages because copyright and buy the book, but the format is very familiar. It's like the kind of thing you would see in magazines from the 90s. You know, you've, you've got, you've got a, a layout with like three pictures. You've, you've got uh, basic details on the left. You've got more information on the right. Um, it's nice and colourful. The quality of the paper is really nice. It's well bound. I mean, this is a th this will be a low volume production. There won't be millions of these, which makes it something worth having. I think it's like a collector's item. It's um. What can I say about it? It's got a kind of a soft feel to it, which I think, in terms of the, the print, it's kind of a little bit soft, which I think is uh, because it is low volume. But I, it, it, it's nice. It's kind of a, it, it's got a warm feel to it. I mean, interesting aspect. I asked, it's, it's printed in block capitals, which I found unusual, and I asked Steve, why is that? And that's because eyesight, Steve has poor eyesight and found it easier to read, and it's like, yeah, there are people of our age, we're retro gamers, we're getting on a bit, and failing eyesight is a thing. And it's true, the, these are, the letters are nice and big and definitely easy to read. So that's what that's all about. The thing I like, I really like about this, it, you know you are reading something by an enthusiast. While at a glance it might look like magazine articles from the 90s, and um, you know you got your professional journalism and a lot of spin because there were certainly some deals done with publishers, or rather, maybe they didn't want to upset the publishers who, if they got a bad review, wouldn't give them the next game. Here, you know you're reading something by an enthusiast, someone who has spent a lot of time playing these games, loves the system. I mean, you've got Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Steve is a Game Boy enthusiast through and through. And you, you know that. When you're reading stuff here, his opinion is based on experience rather than what he's got to say to keep the software company happy. So, uh, you know, you might not have professional level punctuation and big fancy words every other line. Doesn't matter. You, you're, getting, you're getting a message about a game from a person who knows what they're talking about. And that makes this worth having. It's a nice book. I've thoroughly enjoyed reading it. And it's, it's, from my perspective, very useful because I've got Game Boys. I like Game Boys. I'm not actually a Nintendo fan. I don't like Nintendo consoles except the SNES and the Virtual Boy. <laughs> don't ask me why. Um, but I love their handhelds. And the Game Boys in particular. I love the Game Boy Advance SP. And I've got a decent collection of games for it. And largely, I know what I like on it and have got what I like on it. But while reading this, I spotted one that I didn't know about called Corvette. Uh, in fact, 
50 Corvette anniversary. And I'd never heard of that. And I, I read what Steve's got to say about it. Uh, and he starts off a game that many won't have heard of. Corvette is one of the few games using 3D style engine reminiscent of early PlayStation games. And I thought, seeing the, 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 uh, the screen grabs, I've got to have a go at that. So I downloaded it and put it on my RG552 because I don't actually have a, um, what's the word, an EverDrive for my Game Boy Advance. Go on for the Game Boy, but not the Game Boy Advance. So I played it on my um, RG552 and it's great. It's really good. Um, and I'm going to play it some more. So, yeah, if you don't know all of the Game Boy games and you like the Game Boy and you're like, you're interested, what's good on this piece of hardware? This is great. Um, I will put links down in the info on how to get it. Basically, you, you need to contact Steve. It's not, you're not going to find this in the shops as far as I know. So you will need to contact Steve. I'll, I'll put you an email down there and also a link to his video. Um, and you'll be able to see more of this and what's in it there because he, he I don't think he shows the whole book because then <laughs> why would you, you, you yeah okay 399 I think that's really good value I like this book I enjoyed reading it I found it useful if you're interested link below contact Steve and uh, yeah thank you for watching now see here, there's this Benway chap who's paid me lots of money to tell you you should subscribe. So, you know, if you feel like it, I don't care. Then do for more like. Ah!